everyone. Welcome back to Tea With Me. I'm Michelle C. I'm Michelle K. And we're going to do another Reddit story today. Um, I've got something that looks juicy here. I haven't read it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what's to come, but title reads, Entitled Coworker Tried to Hijack Our Wedding. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, Reddit. Shocking. Have I got any tea left? I don't know. My coffee's sort of going a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you need to drink up, love. I know. That's, that's <laughs> fine. I'll get that. Right. Was listening to a bridezilla story. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me of something that happened when my lady wife and I were planning our wedding in Lady 19... wife. Lady wife. <laughs> my lady wife and my I. Lady wife. We're planning our wedding in 1992. Oh. Part one is background slash context. And part two is the entitlement. Mm. Feel free to skip to part two. Permission granted for Redditors to use this on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you, Nakt Jaeger 68 <laughs> Part one. The wedding we wanted, in brackets, and had, full stop. Good. My lady wife is the anti-Karen, the anti bride <laughs> <laughs> mm. On our first date, she found out a stack of restaurant coupons and said, where do you want to take me? We picked Pizza Hut. Oh. Her engagement ring is a heart-shaped amethyst with two little diamond chips. I bought it at Kmart. She cherishes it. Cherishes it. Amethyst is my birthstone. Is it? Uh, no, sapphire is, but amethyst, I think, is one of them. Like, a, mm. See, I'm my not... engagement ring is sapphire and diamonds, and we bought it in sale. Um, just because I didn't want a normal like diamond ring. And no. I wouldn't feel been. comfortable spending thousands on a ring anyway. I know. It was like spend... 300 pounds. I'm happy with a 20p thing. From the, from the <laughs> That's shirt, it. But... Get me a gummy ring. Yeah. <laughs> just have a gummy ring. A gummy well. ring will do. Because it's the thought. It is. It? It's, and um, I, for me, it's more about the proposal than mm. the ring. It's more about the man. Yeah. And what the <laughs> ring symbolises is, exactly. is where the yeah. value is. Anyway. Yeah, I love my ring. We digress. Mm. Um, her wedding dress did not come from a bridal shop. It came from the Sears catalogue. It's a very oh. simple white lace straight T-length dress with a cream underdress. Would not be out of place at an afternoon tea. Beautiful. Um, I bought my three-piece navy pinstripe suit since I needed a suit anyway. We wore the same clothes with different accessories to a costume party as a 1920s <laughs> gas gangster and his mum. I love that. <laughs> that is, yeah. We had the wedding at our church. Our pastor was the real deal. He blessed the rings and when we handed them back, they were ice cold. We okay. exchanged the old wedding vows, think King James Bible style. My lady wife nicks the obey though. A couple what? of... My buddies found out at the last minute that they could make it and showed up. After we said our vows, they pulled out swords and made an impromptu arch for us <laughs> to walk under. I love that. I think that's great. That's awesome. <coughs> Very Game of Thrones. <laughs> My wife's friends were upset and started yelling. Nobody told us to bring our swords. <laughs> yeah, major sci-fi fantasy, D&D, &D, medieval geeks on both sides of the aisle. <laughs> love it. Awesome. Love it. The reception was in the community room at the volunteer fire department I belong to. Not fancy, but so informal and chill and practically free. A local supermarket with an awesome hot food bar catered. Everybody had so much fun. My boss's boss, a good friend, gorgeous blonde, showed up in her little black dress and appropriately flirted with my buddies. <laughs> OK, fair enough. I don't think anybody will forget the pillow mint fight that broke out. A few of my wife's older relatives seemed sort of confused at the antics at first, but ended up having a blast. Yay! <laughs> Getting the spirit of things. My father-in-law had set a rough budget for the wedding in his head. My lady wife came in way under that, so he gave us the difference in cash at the reception. Oh, that's Lovely. Nice. That is good. He was already paying for the honeymoon as his wedding present to us. Honeymoon was within a day's drive and was a huge deal for what we got. My, they sound very resourceful. I do they like are, this. Yes. yes, they're frugal. Yes, frugal and resourceful. My lady wife remembers the complete total spend by us and father-in-law as two thousand dollars. 
1992, which included the honeymoon, so under four and a half thousand dollars today. That's good for a wedding in America. Yeah. I think that the is... average wedding in the UK is twenty thousand pounds. Why? Oh, why? Which would be <laughs> what over twenty five thousand dollars? It's just unnecessary. It just, is. Yeah. Thirty two years together. Mm -hmm. Thirty one years married this October. Ah. Oh. Next anniversary, I'm going to take a page from my granddad and raise a toast to five years of wedded bliss. Five years of wedded bliss in 31. <laughs> okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Part two, attempted hijacking. Now here done, comes, done. Here comes ah, the juice. Here's the juicy bit. When my lady wife, sorry, I it's just it's making me chuckle. My lady wife. My lady wife. Announced our engagement, one of her co-workers, not even a friend, apparently got wedding rabies. <laughs> she was so happy and went over the top offering to help. Oh dear. Wedding rabies. Now there's an expression I haven't I've heard. I've not heard before. that one, no. <laughs> My lady wife was doing the tiny amount of wedding planning that was needed, see above, as her MOH. Mm, uh, mother. Maid of honour. Maid of honour, that's it. It just yeah, mm. evaded me for a minute. <laughs> Lived in New Jersey. We're in upstate New York and had two kids to look after. Co-worker instead, uh, insisted rather that it wasn't fair to my wife that the maid of honour wasn't doing the wedding planning. She kept trying to insert herself as the wedding planner. Mm. Nice of her to offer, but she wanted to arrange our wedding the way she wanted it. Whiskey, tango, foxtrot. <laughs> yeah. No, we did not want frou-frou centerpiece thingies or any of that nonsense. Co-worker, not knowing my wife well, of course had zero clue what our tastes are. My wife's maid of honour was already making custom silk flowers for us and the tables as wedding present. Oh, oh nice. I think co-worker was delusional enough to think she could weasel her way into being maid of honour. You might even have Why? I don't, I don't understand. That's so like my wife kept politely but firmly shutting her down. Last straw was when co-worker called me to tell me about the surprise bridal shower she was throwing for my wife so I could get her there. Oh, hell no. First, my wife was already going to have a bridal shower at our house. Father-in-law and I went down to the fire hall and watched baseball. Second, my wife hates surprise parties. Mm. Third, my wife would never have picked that restaurant. An overpriced steakhouse is the absolute last restaurant we would ever pick. <sighs> Fourth, who the heck was co-worker planning on inviting? She didn't know any of my wife's friends. Oh gosh. <clears throat> wife shut that down hard. She immediately called co-worker and told her off. No meltdown, no yelling, no screaming, no bad language or insults, just pure anger, as hot and bright as a welder's torch. <laughs> Cue tears from Co Walker. Boo hoo hoo. I was just trying to help. Nope, denied. We joke that you need to keep my lady wife away from breakable objects when she's angry. <laughs> Cities, mountain ranges, that kind of fragile stuff. <laughs> Drama over, and the weekend happened. Uh, the wedding happened. Um. <laughs> well, I'm glad she didn't like try and show up. At yeah. the wedding, because that's what I took it as when they said yeah. try to hijack I the know, wedding. I know, I thought so. Try to hijack the wedding planning. Yeah. Which is so weird considering they weren't even friends. I know, I could understand if it was like a bitter other friend that it was like, I've yeah. known you for a lot longer or whatever. Yeah, what whatever. have I made of honour? Yeah. But even then, I still think that's just crazy and just. It comes across to me as like main character syndrome. Yes. Yeah. Definitely main like, character. Oh, there's an event. I have to yes. insert myself into it. Yeah. This person's probably <clears throat> very, very bored. Doesn't have a lot of things to fill their time with. Yeah. So saw, saw an opportunity and yeah. Yeah. Maybe they didn't get a big wedding. Or so they were like, the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so Library Moose has said, I like your wife and her values. It took a little while, but my husband learned what my values are. He once ordered my favourite at the time perfume online as a gift. The best part was when he told me that he saved $8 by not getting it in the box. <laughs> <laughs> that made me so happy for two reasons. The box is a waste and he gets me. Absolutely. Yay. Yeah. And then just a Lizzie life. He said, 
It really is the little things, isn't it? Absolutely. It totally is. agree. Yeah. yeah. I've been married for nearly 24 years now. My hubby and I joke that we now share a hive mind and <laughs> can communicate solely in looks. I love when he'll respond to a question one of the kids asks me with exactly what I'm thinking without me saying a word. Wow. Cracks our kids up. He gets me. Yay. That's all you need. My lady wife and I are approaching 30 years together. We hive mind too. <laughs> I love this. I hive mind. I know. We suspect reading each other and time in grade play a large role. I'm going to say to Tom that we have a hive mind. Yes, do it. Do it. We joke that we should get divorced for a year just so we have new material. <laughs> That's an expensive way to get things to talk about. Somebody said, no, 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 laugh out loud. Check into a resort as strangers and see who does the better job picking the other up at the bar. Start all the wait staff with brazen statements, flagrant flirting and innuendos. <laughs> Does sound fun. Bit of role play. Bit of role, bit of role play, why not? Honestly, that sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. It does. <laughs> Try it. We were at a bar at a Mexican restaurant with a bet to see who could get the biggest reaction from staff. <laughs> I leaned over as we had just met and kissed her. Little breast group. Yeah. I said loudly, wow, I bet you were great in bed. Yeah. Bartender went red and hurried over. My wife, seeing him coming, smiled at him and grabbed my crutch and exclaimed, I see you came from there. <laughs> oh my God. Bartender stopped bright red, paused and asked if we wanted a new drinks. Oh, she That's a bit too much for me, personally. <laughs> yes, it's quite Funny, great. but quite great. yeah, I'm yes. not, not in for that level of PDA. No, it's yes. Mm. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to see it happen in a restaurant. That would be funny. <laughs> to witness it, have, like somebody yeah. else doing it would be hilarious. But yeah, I'm, I'm with you, I think. Um, I hope he tipped both of them. <laughs> Just the tips? <laughs> Just the tip? Oh, no. Okay, it's getting a bit vulgar. Now. Yes. We're, we're lowering the tone to Reddit standards. Let's pull it back a little. Yes, let's. 